I have normal range finder and are functions of mobile phone. Cost by replacing with non-original LiDAR after original LiDAR is damaged. JC ID12 14 LiDAR repair chip. Solve problems of disabled rangefinder and their functions of mobile phone caused by damaged LiDAR. Option 1. There is a damaged original LiDAR and the data can be read normally. Shut down the phone. Remove the original LiDAR. Both V1 Pro and V1C support integrated LiDAR and chip repair solutions. Let's take this V1 Pro as an example. Buckle 13 to 14 series rear camera. LiDAR R and W adapter on V1 Spiral. Buckle the original LiDAR on the corresponding port of the adapter. Boot up the phone. Connect mobile phone to V1 Spiral with the data cable. V1 Spiral displays that data is captured from quad unsuccessfully. Click read. Then click read and unbind. After the data is backed up successfully, remove the LiDAR and replace with chip. Use hot air gun to heat up to remove the iron cover on LiDAR. Then separate the LiDAR. Then apply flux and use hot air gun to heat up to remove the chip on LiDAR. Clan tin. Then solder JC ID12-14 LiDAR repair chip on it. Shake the chip slightly with tweezers to reset it. After soldering is finished, buckle the LiDAR with well-changed chip on V1 spiral. Click clap burn. Choose LiDAR code. Confirm to burn. Install and check after data writing is finished. Rangefinder function repair is done. A function repair is done. If there is regional LiDAR, read and unbind is also available. Click scan unbind. Then scan the QR code in the picture according to the prompt. Then remove the LiDAR and scan the QR code on LiDAR. It displays that unbinding is successful. Unbinding by scanning QR code is finished. If there is regional LiDAR, we can also connect the phone to computer with the data cable. Open JC ID Repair Assistant on computer. Click read and unbind. Trish unbind with regional accessories to unbind LiDAR call. Option 2, the regional LiDAR was lost or damaged so the data cannot be read. If there is no regional accessories, we can also choose to unbind by flashing. Note, precautions need to be read when operating for the first time. Select the firmware to start flashing. The firmware needs to be downloaded from the third-party platform. Start flashing. After flashing and unbinding, the phone will enter into recovery mode. It needs to be flashed and booted by clicking normal flashing. Flashing is finished. The phone is booted up. Then connect mobile phone to V1 Pro with a data cable. V1 Pro displays that data is captured from quad successfully. Buckle the LiDAR with well-changed chip on corresponding port. Click cloud burn. Select the LiDAR code of unbinding by flashing to write. Data writing is successful, then install it.